Well, a new car brand comes to India and this time it's Lotus and it's come here with the Elettra SUV. Well, frankly, it was supposed to bring one more car, the Amira, but that's not happened and that will come in 2024. However, we get the electric SUV first. And this one comes in three variants. The base variant is priced at 2 crore 55 lakh rupees. The S variant is priced at 2 crore 75 lakh variants. And this one, the R, is priced at 2 crore 99 lakh rupees. Now let's just take a look at what exactly this car is all about. Up front, there are similarities that you see with the Lamborghini Urus. And yes, there is a bit of the Ferrari 458 Italia also there, especially here in the headlight section. Now you'll also see a bit of Lamborghini Urus, as I said, but it's the side that makes the whole lot of difference because it gets that sloping roof kind of look, and that is the SUV coupe kind of a version. Now, yes, some of you might think that this is more like say the Kia EV6 and you will not be wrong but still it's completely different a bit of chiseled look so to say and extremely extremely muscular if that's the word overall though it looks extremely nice and yes it is going to hit Indian roads very very soon now, I just want to talk about the battery capacity and the range as well on this car. 112 kilowatt hour, that's the battery pack that this one gets. And this is the top end R variant. And uh, it also obviously, that's why, makes more power. 905 bhp is what it has to offer. And all that propels this car from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just under 3 seconds. Yeah, you like snap a finger and it's already at 100. So we can't wait to experience what that feels like. But the fact that it's coming to India just shows you how, you know, well in the Indian market is doing, especially in the luxury car space. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you was the inside. Now, this car comes in two variants where you have a four-seater capacity and a five-seater capacity this one has the rear bench with a five-seater capacity so yes this is the five-seater version and there is a four-seater one as well now Satwik is in that four-seater version and he will talk you through all the technology that powers this one because there's a lot thanks Amir let's start with the interior of this four-seater electric these four seats are a part of the executive seat package and the highlight is this 10.2 inch touch screen these two cup holders and the two cubby holes in the middle like Amir said it looks like the EV6 from the outside but from the inside it has much more space the electric gets level 2 autonomous driving which is managed by 7 cameras and 4 lidar systems Lotus says that this system can be configured for each country. But the biggest highlight of this interior is this huge 15.1 inch touchscreen that has controls for majority of the car's functions. Interestingly, you can control the temperature of the AC using these toggles. However, for controlling the fan speed and the air direction, you'll need to use this slick touchscreen. We'll give you a more in-depth about this touchscreen when we bring our review. So stay tuned and subscribe to the AccuDrive channel.